This is Zhang Xinsheng, Director General of the Fisheries Agency. To avoid the spread of COVID-19, the Taiwan government requires that everyone pays attention to personal hygiene by washing your hands frequently, wearing a mask, and maintaining social distancing. We care about your health and the health of your colleagues by asking that everyone follows the regulations. Thank you and please take care. Hello there, welcome to Philippines and Friends from City Lin at Radio Taiwan International. Okay, we're starting with some news from the Philippines. The vaccination of Filipino domestic workers in Hong Kong should be due to their own informed choice rather than state compulsion. That's uh, according to Senator Joel uh, Villanueva. This comes amid reports that Hong Kong officials plan to make coronavirus vaccination compulsory for all foreign domestic helpers looking to renew their contracts. A move that has been slammed by migrant worker groups there as discriminatory and unjust. Philippine Council General to Hong Kong, Rally Tejada, has said that vaccination, if required, should be for all foreign workers and not just the 370,000 domestic workers in Hong Kong, most of whom are Filipino and Indonesian women. Even here in the Philippines, there is no compulsion when it comes to vaccination, but we strongly urge everyone to get vaccinated, Villanova said. It should not be made a requisite for work visa renewal, more so if other foreigners in that country are exempted from mandatory vaccination. It is patently discriminatory, he added. The senator emphasized that educating the public should precede vaccine rollout, adding that this responsibility falls on the government, regardless of country. There's a thin line between vaccine democracy and class discrimination, he also said. Hong Kong Labor Secretary Lo Chi Kuo has uh, defended linking domestic worker visas to vaccination, saying helpers can choose to work elsewhere. All domestic workers are required to be vaccinated by May 9th, according to a report from the South China Morning Post. Foreign Affairs Secretary Theodore Luxon Jr. on Sunday said the plan smacks of discrimination and called on officials not to single out any nationality. La Kanyang echoed Luxon's statement on Monday. The other story, transport workers on Thursday, the um, 6th, slammed the delay in the release of funds under the Transportation Department's service contracting program, saying not even 1% of the budget set aside for it has been spent. At a press briefing organized by the Move as One Transport Coalition Thursday, the group said that a backlog at the land transportation franchising and regulatory boards has affected not only its service contracting payouts, but also the processing of documents required to sign up for the program and apply for franchises. Per the Department of Transportation's own figures sent to philstar.com, only um, 11,500 some driver recipients out of some 36,000 have received the initial payout. In total, only 46.1 million pesos has been paid out. The LTFRB added to their requirements. They said that cooperatives now have to be consolidated. That's where we, we are being delayed. Ernie Cruz, chair of the National Confederation of Transport Workers Union, said. It's been assessment after assessment since we applied for consolidation in 2019, and it's 2021 already. How are we going to participate in this program? As for a possible reason for the delay, he said that transportation officials may have been overwhelmed by the number of transport cooperatives in Metro Manila, saying they might not have had the personnel to accommodate the request. Monica Aka of the province of Iloilo Transport Service Cooperative said that the weekly payouts promised in the LTFRB's contract are precisely what attracted shipping drivers, many of whom are daily wage earners, to sign on for the program. Others have since been forced to take loans to sustain their families, he said. It took almost four months since December we received a payout in April. Said. Until now, many haven't received the initial 4,000 pesos, and the kilometers are not accurate. Philstar.com has sought LTFRB Chairman Martin Delgrau for comment 
so here's not responded off of the post. 